Hey, how's everyone doing? Hello there guys. So here we are in Cloudflare and today guys we are going to be looking at how to improve your Google page speed, your Google page kind of page speed score just by using few of the plugins here inside Cloudflare. So I'm just going to run you through it. Now if you've got a free account then I suggest you guys get the pro account only because there's certain features that are enabled in a pro account that will enable a better Google PageSpeed scores and therefore better rankings. So heading back over here guys as you can see on the side uh, this is all SEO basics we're gonna be looking at some of the stuff here on the side so I just take the camera off so you guys can see and there's pretty few things that we've got. Now what we're going to be doing guys is we're going to be just looking at certain cache and certain things that we need to enable. So the first thing that we're going to click on here on the side is basically speed. Now I don't mean speed as in drugs, I mean speed as in speed. <laughs> so guys we then select optimization and well let's have a look at the overview so first of all this is the overview of it don't actually have anything so on the optimizations here as we go down uh, there's something called the polish which is pretty cool and I've had it but it actually slows down the Google page speed score when it comes to um, mobile devices so I highly recommend not using that if your images are not already optimized for mobile so definitely stay away from that one um, all you're going to do is you want to select the auto minify here at the side. You want to make sure that all of these are enabled and this will be disabled abruptly. This is really good for enhancing and speeding up your website. So again guys, you know, to use Cloudflare you will need to connect the Cloudflare. So I will create a tutorial on how to actually connect your website into Cloudflare. So what happens is normally uh, your website, the domain name connects straight to your server. But what would happen here is your domain name would connect to Cloudflare and then Cloudflare would connect you to the server. And Cloudflare would be like the middle person in the middle, uh, creating all sort of different things and stuff. So it's like a content delivery network, preventing D, like DDoS hackers, preventing spam. Um, content delivery network, look it up. So basically what this does, this bottomly, it speeds up the load times for your visitors and your traffic. So just by enabled it, enabling this, can't even talk straight, sorry. <laughs> just by enabling this, you will speed up the compression using this compression, which is pretty much better than gzip. And if you're already using gzip, then Brotoly is added on top, giving you even better speed for your website. So definitely something to run. Now early hints is something that's kind of new here. Um, this is pretty cool if you guys want to just make the links a bit faster. Now the thing with early hints is it actually, uh, as you guys can read, it creates responses with a link in the headers of your HTML pages. So it allows the browsers to preload any links that are highlighted with the mouse cursor and therefore uh, it gives a final and quicker response so you can enable this this is a new feature which I've enabled on all of my websites so I'm going to enable it on here much better to have it on um, and these two okay the TCP turbo again something I highly recommend if you're running pro I'm running a lot of other websites and I'm running a pro on them uh, on, on here, on the old SEO, I don't need to run it at the moment because the traffic is just a new website. But if you guys are receiving up to 1,000 users a day, then de you know, between 1,000 and 10,000 or more, then definitely run it. Here we only get like, you know, we're just starting off basically, I'm just starting off. So it's definitely uh, something that I will run once we hear about 1,000 users a day on a blog. But for now, blog is just starting off so there's no point. So we leave that off. Uh, rocket loader again guys if you're not using Google Ads enable this if you are using Google Ads disable this uh, rocket loader and Google Ads just don't go together you will, you will get errors and you won't get 
the money you get for the clicks. It just does something with the compression of the JavaScript and Cloudflare interferes with Google service, creating all sorts of, sort of unnecessary um, bugs, which will actually, you will see a reduction around 20 to 30 percent in your revenue as soon as you enable this so if you're using google ads don't enable this if you're not using google ads go for it because it just makes the website like that like a rocket that's why it's called the rocket loader it's a special compression that cloudflare has um which improves the paint time for your pages as soon as you click on a link boom it's just like bam it's really really good really really good and definitely recommend BAM. <laughs> definitely recommend that. Um, Prefetch ULRs again. You guys, you can do that with other plugins in in um, in WordPress. But pretty cool if you want to use it here. But I wouldn't recommend it. Just use you know you don't need to go enterprise because it's quite expensive. So just keep it pro, which is like twenty pound, twenty twenty dollars, which is good enough. If you guys want mobile compression, you can use it again on here. I'm not using it, but that's pretty much that part of it and when it comes to caching on a side here guys as you can see uh, if we click on caching turn the camera off we've got configuration here um, on the configuration here we've got purge okay and purge everything if you ever change any of the settings that we've just run before if you change any of those settings you will always need to make sure that you go up here and you purge everything basically you just purge everything click on this button and it will reset everything you will sometimes find that you might get an interception uh, where you update your website but your website is still crashing or not loading correctly where you've made a mistake it's because it's still loading the CSS or JavaScript which is actually saved on Cloudflare so there you go and apart from that that is pretty much the best settings you guys can use for Cloudflare for any website again if you are using ads do not use the rocket loader. Uh, Broccoli is definitely a really good compression. Uh, Polish is something I would highly recommend. But again, on mobile, make sure your images are optimized before running that because it will slow down your mobile page speed load. And apart from that, this is it. This is what I wanted to share with you guys. These are the best settings you guys can use with Cloudflare. Obviously, by enable the, enabling the pro features, you guys will open up those pro set the pro can we talk the pro settings uh, here on the side, and just by opening this up, you can go down down here and you can run the TCP Turbo, which is the pro. You can run the Mirage as well, and this will just make your website like that. And I mean, I'm running this on one of the other websites. I'm not going to share more details, but. It is like that, you know, it's really fast and really good. Apart from that, this is all I have to say. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Make sure you hit the like, drop more comments below. What do you guys think about Cloudflare? Do you guys enjoy Cloudflare? What kind of settings do you guys want to see next? What tutorials would you guys like to see? Uh, drop them below and I'll be happy to help Path here from allseobasics.com. Again, check out the blog below. Hit the like, subscribe, see you guys again soon next week. Peace, ciao.